I've got my eyes up and our Sicilian yellow McLaren 570S Spider is demolishing the twisty narrow roads up near the spectacular Montserrat in Spain, and it's doing it with the same kind of uncanny speed and agility as a mongoose in a cage full of cobras. I daren't look at the digital speedometer, either, for fear of losing some rhythm. But I can tell you, we are covering ground at an astonishing pace. In fact, it's difficult to think of a more capable car with this kind of corner conquering firepower. Only the Porsche GT3 RS and the now discontinued McLaren 675 LT come to mind. This kind of driving is addictive, especially in this car and in these parts. And thankfully, there seems to be no end to these deserted, corner laden twisties. Front end grip on turn in is simply astounding and requires a full cognitive reboot in order to feel comfortable with this level of performance. It's a point made even more remarkable for the fact that this latest Spider is shot with relatively narrow 225-35 series tires up front, though split with wider 285-35 S down back. It's a not a big footprint, as footprints go. There are more than a few of our favorite hot hatches wearing wider rubber than the 570S at least up front. But, that's the thing with McLaren's sports cars, the chassis is so sublimely tuned, the tires don't have to compensate for any twist caused by a lack of rigidity, because there just isn't any. At least, that's the perception. But even if there's a semblance more flex in the spider, it's largely imperceptible to this driver, even under these extreme loads. There are no rattles, squeaks or body movement, either. And, while it feels like we're pretty well on the pace, it's doubtful we're even running at 7 tenths. I know that, because the feedback from the electro-hydraulic steering rack tells me so. That said, to push any harder is to go where only angels dare tread, such as the drop-off in these mountainous parts. There's plenty of freshly laid arm co around to suggest plenty half-dried. Not today, Jose. Tire width is also one of the few things McLaren uses to differentiate between the various series, otherwise there's little that separates the various models, as far as outright performance goes.